It was a, a massive decision, you know, but um, I've, I've weighed up all the options of, of what I could and what I couldn't do and what was good and what was bad about the situation of, of staying and going and whatever, but, um, it, it, you know, there was no easy solution, but it was a, it was a big decision weighing everything up and, uh, you know, I just looked at the situation where I've had four great years at Man United and enjoyed the experience, it's been brilliant, so, uh, and looked at what was happening at the club and what players were coming in and, and what was going on there and uh, as well as the opportunity of going back to Tottenham you know it, it was a great opportunity for me and if I'd had another year at Man United that, that might not have happened next year so uh, you've got to take it all into account and as you well know the, the fact of going back to London and seeing a bit more of my son Charlie um, was a big draw as well and uh, although his his view was for me to stay at Man United, which is very you, interesting. You sort of turned him round into a United fan, haven't oh, you, definitely. in the last few years? I, no, I don't think I've done that. I think that, uh, watching the likes of uh, Bex and Scolzi and Giggsy in, in training and games and that, you know, he's, he's a firm Man United supporter at the moment. Whether he changes or not and, <laughs> and comes with me, I don't know, but he wanted me to stay. Um, through football in terms, I think, but um, hopefully uh, for life, you know, it'll work out in, in our favour. Mm. From a footballing decision though, purely footballing, possibly this time last year people might have understood the decision because you hadn't played a lot. The, the magnificent season you've just had, play of the year twice, played more games than any of the other four strikers, scored more goals than any of the four strikers, that might surprise a few United fans watching this. Yeah, uh, I know exactly what you're saying but um, I don't think I'm out of uh, speaking out of turn here by saying this, but I said it to the manager and I, I was very disappointed that I didn't play against Bayern Munich, um, especially in the first game at home when, when we'd had a lot of good results um, in, in Europe this year when I'd been playing. And uh, I think the club were really up for that game and um, I was so disappointed not to play in that. And that is, that is the big games for Manchester United, you know. And when you're at a club, I was at Perhaps I wasn't at the top of my form at the time, and, and that's what he realised. But you know, we'd already we'd already won the league, really, and the whole club had dipped in in form the previous six weeks before that. But we knew that we had to get going for the European stage, and uh, that was that was where it came to a head. That it was I was so disappointed in playing, not playing in the big game against Bayern Munich, and then again out, out in Bayern Munich as well. Mm. All the strikers say, you've always said you, you, you welcome the competition, but they obviously <coughs> have just spent nearly £20 million on another striker. So there's then five of you. Was that, was that a, a factor at all as well? Not really. Um, someone asked me that before, and I, and I said it was a factor, but I don't really see him as being um, a contender for my place or me for him. I think um, he's more like uh, Coley or Solskjaer, and I think that the three of them are very similar now. So... Um, I'd said the year before I'd, I'd signed when I didn't know whether Van Nistelrooy was going to come and uh, I was quite happy to do that. So it didn't really come into the equation, no. Mm. You mentioned the Champions League there and obviously you played quite a lot over the last three years. We all know what you've done with, it, with the winner's medal as well. That must be difficult to, to give up, you know, even, even at a man in, in your fitness and, and peak condition. <laughs>